Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today I'm going to talk about the pattern, Small Cat. Um, I think I wrote the gal's name down, by Mari, Mari Lise Lil. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, there's a link to this pattern in the previous video, because in the previous videos where I mentioned that I wanted to make this uh, pattern, <clears throat> uh, and that is the one with the thumbnail of my son and I at Boy Scout Camp. I didn't have a picture to take of any work yet, so I thought, because I just got back from camp, I'll put a picture of my son and I, and that's, that's the video that has a link. I'll also put a link in the description below this video. So here we go. Let's talk about Small Cat. Small Cat is a pattern I found on Ravelry. I did a simple search because initially I wanted to make a cat, an amigurumi cat, or anything amigurumi, quite frankly, using the mandala or mandala DK weight, because you know it's kind of a thinner yarn. I bought this like rainbow cake. Uh, this pattern came up, and that really was my search, I think, because you can choose on the left-hand side, um, uh, what's that called, where you redefine your search or you make it more focused. So of course I chose free, crochet, amigurumi, DK weight, and this pattern came up. Um, it is simple to read. Now, a lot of you who watch my videos know, and those who don't, I'll say it again, I am not great at reading patterns. If you would give me a red heart pattern or something that's straight from a manufacturer that has a lot of abbreviations, very few words, I have a very difficult time reading them. This pattern is very much an easy readable pattern with, <laughs> I always like to say, abbreviations and words. It's almost like a story. It, um, there are a few abbreviations in there for like repeat. She has REP, but I mean, I think in some of those abbreviation patterns like Red Heart makes, they just have a symbol in there. And if you don't really know what that symbol is, or you're trying to decipher and remember all the symbols and abbreviations, it's difficult. So I'm just going to read a random line in this pattern. It has a parenthesis, which means when you have a something in a parenthesis, that that is the thing that you're going to repeat. So parentheses. SC, single crochet, and each of the next four STS is stitches, comma, two SCs, single crochet, in the next ST stitch parentheses. And then it says, reap, R-E-P, repeat six times, and it's actually the words. So it's SC in each of the next four STS, two SCs in the next ST, parentheses, repeat six times, and then it has a number, 36. So it's, for me, much easier to remember. And even if that isn't as easy for others, it's a lot easier to start from to figure out more. So I will say Mari's pattern, very easy to read. I was able to figure it out. This first cat I made, I followed her pattern to a T. I started with the head, then I, she has you stop, I think, row 20 into the head. Yep, and then she has you start into the, and separate, you just set the head aside and you start with the feet. So, and the ears are on separate, so you work on the head. When you get about here, it tells you where to put the eyes, then you stop, set the head aside, start with one foot, very much like Friendly Fox, where you do one foot, cut it off, set aside, do the other foot, join them in a very similar way to Friendly Fox. Now, I did the skirt, on this cat like I did on the Friendly Fox's skirt and that's where the first round I would do the the ruffle stitch in the first loop and then I would do a single crochet in the back loop and then in the next row I did the ruffle in the first loop and then in the, then I did a single crochet in the back loop and then I just kept going up. You do not do the arms so then you, you can actually see crazily enough by the way the arm the yarn went the head stopped at purple and the body came up and stopped at this blue line. So I set that aside. Um, then you make two arms, you make two ears, and you make a tail. Now, she has a different way to do the skirt, and I will talk about that on the other cat I made. Now, I didn't put whiskers on here because I am horrible at embroidering facial features. As you can see from this cat, he looks, she looks horrible, or he... Um, I did the, the whiskers like three or four times. I'm trying to reshape her poor lumpy little head. Um, and then I think that's why I like the Friendly Red Foxes so much. 
because she has you put in an eye and do a little line for the nose and you can add blush for the cheeks and then that's pretty much it. Well this with a cat, you gotta do the nose, some kind of marking for the mouth and then you're supposed to do whiskers. Well my whiskers were a hot mess. So I just said, you know what, this cat's not gonna have any whiskers. Um, the arms, again, the patterns are really easy to read. It says put a little bit of fluff in there, so I did. And then the tail is just a single crochet. Now, like I said, the thing I did different was the skirt. Well, I didn't like joining the head to the cat. Um, as you can see, it's not a floppy head, but I didn't like it, particularly for my circumstance, because the head and the body ended up being a different color. And you can see right here <laughs> where I had the blue from the body and I had to sew the head on. And then you can see where I then used the tail from the purple head. And it just kind of turned out to be kind of messy, I felt. And then where the color, for some reason, in this mandala cake or mandala cake right there was a dark. Um, and then finally, I do not like the ear. And this is not Mari's fault. Uh, Friendly Red Fox has the same ear too. And basically it's a circle that you just keep going around and then you sew part of it on so it curves over. So after making this cat and being, I feel like with having such great success with those others, I felt like this looked like garbage. I was like, ugh. So, uh, so I, I tried a new one. I then decided to modify and combine the features or the ideas that I liked from Friendly Red Fox into making my next cat. So first I switched back to the Red Heart. Even though my main goal was to be using the DK Mandala, I put it back, it's just not gonna work. The color changes happen in weird places and unless you're gonna make a really big animal, you end up with something like this where you have this weird arm and leg blue or weird torso and blue and head in purple and it just ended up being weird. So I don't recommend using the long color changes for a small project. Long color changes are big, good for big projects and maybe, I mean, it doesn't look dreadful, but it certainly does not look as cute as my others. So, like I said, for this cat, I went back to Red Heart. Um, this actually, to be fair, is Ivory, I love this yarn. And I made this cat almost exactly like the Amigurumi Friendly Red Fox, except for I used the numbers for this gal's pattern. So I started with the foot, because uh, the Friendly Red Fox says you start with the feet. So I did one foot, finished it off, set it aside, did the other foot. Now when joining these two, I think I had crocheted one, a chain one. In the other dolls that I were doing, she has you do a chain three between the legs, but I decided just to do a chain one to give it a little bit more space. Then I crocheted, so I did the chain one, I joined it to the other leg, and that's when you start doing the rounds. Like I said, I used the numbers from Mari's pattern. When it came to the skirt, I decided to try Mari's way. And what she has you do, the plate where you want to place your skirt, your little tutu, she has you do that that next row in the uh, I think about it in the front loops so essentially when you're done with the body you'll see a little line all the way around and those are the back loops that you left open so you just leave those then I go ahead and I finished her pattern then you after you do that back loop only line let's see I guess it depends if you how you're holding your crochet whether it's the front or the back. The, per the whole point is the loop that you leave open is gonna be on the outside of the cat. Then you go back that next row and you do it through both loops. This is where I turn to my experience with the Friendly Red Fox. So instead of stopping and then doing the head, I just went straight up into the head. And in order to do the cat's head, I essentially reversed, and I know that sounds su silly, but I reversed the head pattern. So because this head pattern is written top down, I had to do my head down up. So instead of saying where it would you know, decrease, I increased because I'm going down to up. Then I changed, and this section here is where 
you stop increasing you can see right about here and then you just go around then I chose a new location for my eyes because I wanted them a little higher up than where they were on this cat to be honest I think that they probably should be one more low down and then because I was doing the reverse of the head normally she has you increasing on the top I had to decrease so where it said to do two stitches in one I decreased and down here when it said to you know decrease I did two and one I hope that makes sense so then I finished off her head round ball but right about here when I was doing my decreasing that's where I had to stop and I had to put in the eyes I had to do some stitching on this one I gave an effort on doing whiskers again and you'll see why I didn't on the other they look like garbage huh. and so then I you know then once you get your face on there your embroidery you stuff the head close it off and then I had to then turn on to doing ears and tail I ran out of I love this yarn ivory so I had to choose another color so I went to Red Heart Super Saver Coffee Latte the color I used for my bears and my Tanya doll I did the arms just like Mari has in her pattern um, but I changed the ears because like I said I do not like these circle ears and these are the same ears that um, friendly at Fox had so I just basically made a triangle I did st six stitches across then I decreased and then the next row I just kind of made myself a little triangle because I feel like cats ears are triangle not circles folded over um, this ear looks bigger than the other and it probably is but maybe cats ears are too and then I changed the tail this is the tail that um, Mari has you make which is essentially a tube it's a magic ring with seven stitches and you just keep going up about 10 rows and that's what it looks like because this skirt looks more delicate than this one because I did mine two rows of a tutu on this one I decided to do a different tail and I did I want to say 16 chains and then I did a half double crochet up and that is how that's all it is chain 16 half double crochet back to the top and then I sewed it on now initially I thought this was gonna look like a horrible little cat but it's a Siamese cat isn't that what Siamese cats look like they're creamy with either brown or black ears and sometimes arms obviously the bottom legs are white so this is the second cat um, this is Red Heart Super Saver purple this is the skirt that she has you do so here you start in the back and then you look for that loop that you that you had sticking out that you skipped way back when and you do a shell pattern in it I actually did the same shell pattern that I do for everything um, that is in one stitch you do a single crochet and then a half double crochet then in a new stitch you do two double crochets and then in another stitch you do a half double crochet and a single crochet and then you slip stitch and then you start the shell pattern over again so each shell consists of three and it's so hard to see but that's my shell and it consists of three stitches to give it that look so like I said if you go to Ravelry and you t you click on that link and you see this small cat pro pro um, the small cat pattern it looks way cuter the other people who posted their cats they look phenomenal they do not look like this garbage that I've made I just don't I just didn't figure it out so I don't know what like I feel like this one looks a little better than this one this one to me looks like a bear or a panda some kind of mix animal because of the long tail it wouldn't really be a bear but those ears look like bear ears to me I don't know I'm not impressed with my work now I'm not gonna say it's Mari's fault because obviously on the second time around I completely changed the pattern all up I just think maybe I'm not really good at the amigurumi little ones um, so I just personally don't like the look of these little cats or bear hybrid animal compared to what I was doing when I was doing the friendly red fox but it's probably user error because I've only been crocheting for like three and a half years so have a go at it you know I'm sure those of you that have been doing amigurumi or crocheting longer oh look I forgot to tr trim that one 
probably will have a better looking cat because those other folks, when you see the pictures on there, their cats look way better. So that's pretty much what I have to say about my small cat. Now I'm just gonna donate these to Christ Child Society because they have toys in their layette sets that they give to babies. Um, one of the requirements if you happen to make toys for Christ Child Society is they cannot have pieces that come off like clothing and um, because these are safety eyes I mean nothing that you pull on this cat is gonna come off if you're a baby so I can give them this because this the clothes it's all sewn on so you know what I don't even know if I want to give this bear cat away I'm kind of embarrassed I'll give it to them, and if they like it, great, they can use it. If they don't, I am not going to feel bad, and I'll throw it away. So that is how the small cat pattern worked out. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to retire it. I, um, I did two. I'm not happy at all with my work. I'm obviously not finding that niche or that ideal look that you'll see on the Ravelry pictures. And it's not just her. Other folks have made this pattern and done a splendid job. It's just me. Um, I will try some other amigurumi patterns. I've had a bunch recommended in comments, so I have a lot more to try. And hopefully, it's just this kind of this one. Just you know how sometimes if you just don't understand a pattern right, or maybe it's too small, or I use the wrong yarn, or I don't know. Maybe I was just having a bad week because I'll tell you I did have a rough week at work. Um, but that's what happened. That is what happened when I tried to do this pattern. These little weird hybrid creatures came out. But until then, thanks for watching and subscribing. Um, check out some of my previous videos. And until then, happy crafting. Happy crafting. <laughs> Bye.